Hello YouTube, it's Rob from Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the northeast of England. I hope everybody is well and having a great day. I've just parked up for a cup of tea. It's a lovely day in the northeast and the sun is shining. And uh, thankfully it's dry because I've had a little bit of uh, wet weather recently, which has been a bit annoying, but it keeps the green gold growing so we can't uh, complain. What I want to talk about briefly is why all the hatred bef uh, for mow blow and go as certain uh gardeners on social media i've been watching a few facebook uh, pages um regarding professional gardeners and, and there's a real sort of anti mow blow and go or as i would call it i mow i strim i blow i mow again and then i go on my smaller medium laws i just think for the price i charge um i uh, i don't strim first i just think it creates too much waste um and i just like to mow first so you get the thick off it and then i strim so you've got less strimming then i edge then i blow it then i i give it a good mow a second time and then again a second blow and it costs costs it takes plenty you know it doesn't take a long time and so it doesn't cost a lot but it means you're doing a good quality service now today's um schedule for me it's my favorite day uh, or one of them out of me fortnightly uh, gardening round and uh, i've got six gardens uh, four at uh, 35 quid and two at 30 quid do the maths right and the uh, 35 pound gardens take me between 55 50 minutes an hour depending if the customer comes out and have a little chat or whether you can crack on and the um 30 quid lawns they take 40 minutes so and they're all quite close by and uh you're in you're out and you don't feel tired and uh, i get home in a reasonable time and i've earned a good day's money now times that by 10 which is your fortnightly round that's good good living however i guess it would be a little bit boring but I'm 53, right? Now, fast forward. Say I get the 60, 63, and I say, I've had enough. I want to scale down the operation a little bit. Uh, I know which gardens I'll be keeping, and it's the small mo blow and goes. Uh, I won't be keeping some of the big gardens where you're doing an hour, an hour and a half mowing, and then an hour garden maintenance. Uh, the shrubs trimming, the weeding, it's, it's hard graft uh, and, and I'm not fighting the hard work but what I'm saying is the mowing of lawns is easier and I know that sometimes um, you, if you just do mowing you, you, you know you, your business can be at risk 2018 we had a, a, a drought uh, in the northeast well I say a drought it was a real hot summer wasn't it now the, the south uh, suffered uh, massively in the northeast we didn't suffer as bad and some of the fortnightlies went down to monthly but um it was only for a short period of time we didn't suffer as bad as the lads down south did um so i understand if you put all your eggs in one basket it, you know you're, you're at risk but when i get sort of to 60 63 and i say you know what, i'm gonna slow it down to maybe two days a week um and not even full days leave the house at nine back in at uh, three o'clock say 150 quid days a couple of days a week i know what jobs i'll be keeping i'll be keeping my small lawns uh the mo blow and go because um i like cutting lawns and i think it's less physically demanding when you've got a full maintenance and i don't think people want to pay the money and um, they're more comfortable paying money for a gardener who's got a machine in the hand uh, for example a lawn mower a strimmer a hedge trimmer a leaf blower and they are if you've got a trowel in your hand and you're out digging and you're doing a bit of weeding i just don't think they, they like to pay the same money i might be wrong is it just my experience let me know but um for anybody starting out ignore the snobbery or the negativity for just people who, who mow blow and go i would say 70 percent of my business is mowing lawns uh, and I thoroughly enjoy it. I still like cutting a nice lawn. I like um, putting a stripe down. And there's a skill to it. And anybody who think there isn't a skill to it, well, that's your jog on, jog on. There's a skill to it. 
and uh, I like it. And uh, don't be ashamed to say I'm a mo blow and go. I might get a t-shirt with that on, you know. I'm mo blow and go and proud, something like that. Anyway, I, I did a video recently. Uh, maybe it's a week or so ago it all blends into one now and one of me uh, subscribers was saying well why do you park up why is it you uh, you don't make videos traveling from job a to job b save your time because you're that busy aren't you and i think there was a hint of sarcasm in there and a hint of you know but you get it so i answered the question briefly and the reason is is um i don't want to break the law now anybody who watches this channel knows I'm involved in boxing, I'm a referee on the amateur boxing circuit and one of the uh, elderly gentlemen who's uh, one of the uh, officials in charge is a retired police officer and he's in his 70s now and he is a lovely guy and um, I told him, I said, oh I do a bit of YouTube uh, recording and I asked him and I said, if I'm not touching the form when I'm driving and I'm making videos, is that okay? And he went, no, it's not Rob. And I said, but I wouldn't be touching the video, you know, I, I wouldn't be touching the, the camera. I said, and so surely that's fine. He said, yeah, they might not get you for um, using a handheld device whilst driving a motor vehicle. He said, but there's other laws you'll be breaking. And I wrote them down so I didn't forget. And he said, there's dangerous driving, there's careless driving, and there's driving whilst not in control of the vehicle or not being due care and attention and he said imagine Rob if you were driving and you're doing this looking at the camera all the time and you hit somebody he said uh, you're going to prison and I thought you know what he's right like uh, and also where I live a place called Low Fell there's loads of schools and you know you're driving from one job to another and you're doing this you're talking to the camera you, I just don't want to put myself at risk and I would feel terrible if I hit somebody um, so I don't and everybody needs a lunch break so uh, I park up and I have 10 minute chat and uh, I make a video and I understand I haven't made many gardening videos recently and I do apologise but uh, me and my big mouth I did a video about scheduling and how easy it is because we don't get uh, many rain days in the northeast and in England well we've had some recently haven't we we've had storms from America we've had two or three days a week where it's been raining and then trying to fill everything all the gaps it's been quite challenging long days and long nights um, but fingers crossed the long range weather forecast from now on looks positive so uh, we have to get some work done on a regular schedule and that means I'll be able to get the camera out and get a few uh, few uh, gardening videos instead of just me waffling on and talking nonsense in the van. But uh, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to crack on. I've got another lawn to go to and it's a, it's a mow and blow and go, as they say. Uh, but it's just around the corner. I'll be in and out in an hour, 55 minutes, and it's 35 quid in the bank. You do the maths. Um, there'll be Kenneth Taylor from Kenneth Taylor Window Cleaning Gardening Services. He did a video and I mentioned it before. There was an old window cleaner, a traditional window cleaner who walked around with a ladder and a bucket and he did every house in every street. And there's another guy with a fancy van and a long reach going all over the town. Who's the clever one? We're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. And being happy is what it's all about, right? And um, I know what I'd rather be doing. Two hours in a big uh, fancy garden where you're doing an hour and a half mowing and then you've got an hour, a sort of 30 minutes where you've got to try and keep on top of all the maintenance. And at the moment, because of the rain and the hot weather, it's getting out of control and the customer's going, oh, well, you know, we're not quite sure about them hedging. Or Mrs. Cannybody, the 30 quid, the 35 quid, who just wants you to come and cut a lawn, put an edge on it, keep it looking nice. That's what I enjoy doing. And um, I get that the guard maintenance is better for a little bit of winter work. But during the summer when the green gold's growing, you can't beat a bit of mow and blow and go. That's me. I'm definitely going now. All the best. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. And remember, when the green gold's growing, keep mowing. See you soon. Take care.